Good morning, everyone. How are you going? Lovely Saturday morning. Bit of rain. Um, I'm getting ready to head out. I've got a, about an hour's drive out to a, a farm. Um, it's going to stay undisclosed as to where it is. Uh, we're putting in a... Uh, well, he's finished putting in an off-grid system. We'll show you that when we get down there. And basically, I've got to reprogram. I've got to program everything. So I've got my computer. This uh, fancy $25 lead I had to buy to program one of the charge controllers. And of course, we've got the usual um, PIP4048 uh, charge controller inverters. Okay, we just arrived at the farm. And you can see he's got, what's that there? Four, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we've got twelve panels uh, on, on this shed here. Um, facing sunrise and sunset each side. And then out the paddock here he's got... Um, 16 panels also facing sunrise and sunset and you can see there's no trees out there he's done a marvelous marvelous job building that stand and all the power comes in underground and goes to the batteries and this is a lovely bit of land here that's uh there's some woolly jumpers running around in the paddock there Marvellous, marvellous. All right, we'll go in and have a look at the system. Okay, so here we are in the shed, and he said he doesn't like to mind being named. So we're at the Bustleton Cattery. It's Ambergate Cat Hostel. And what was it? Ambergate Cat Hostel. There we go. In Bustleton. In Bustleton. Now he's gone 100% off grid due to the cost that Wasted Power wanted in uh, updating his lines and we'll have a talk to his wife a bit later on but this is the system so we've got three five kilowatt inverters the, the uh, pip uh, 5048 I think they're called and then we've got this EP ever up here which is a high volt unit which is all the panels on the roof now he's got 40 370 watt solar panels correct correct um, he's got exactly the same battery bank I've got up here and he's used nice copper bus bars across the whole battery which is totally bloody awesome that's how it should be uh, these leads are just some old ones of mine that we had in there just to get him up and running because when he told Western Power he wanted to go off grid, they whoop de whoop they're out here and just cut him straight off, whether he's ready or not. So, um, anyway, he's done a marvellous job here. Absolutely beautiful job. That's the uh, inverter. Jen, 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 inverter. And this is all the strings here. A main switch there oh yeah there we go right, well what's what's mark the electrician's name isn't it wayne is the Wh electrician from wayne. cvp electrical from cvp electrical did this cz solar's uh off-grid man now um some of you wanted to see how these plugged into the computer and how easily they set up so i don't have to do it today but i will do it and just show you this real quick um, how simple they are to plug in and then I've got to program this beast up here that's a uh, a 200 100 isn't it that's 100, yeah 200 volt input 100 output yep. that's what that one is so 200 volt DC in and uh, 100 amp output it's a monster Okay. Okay, now to um, program these, I'm plugged into the uh, master there. You don't have to be, either one will do, but 
for the purposes of this. You only need to plug into one of these units to program all three. All right, and I'm plugged in uh, in the COM port there. And at the other end, you got this. And I just plug that into my computer here. All right, so I'll get that done. And then I'll show you the startup. Look at that gorgeous puppy dog. Anyway, get back to this. Okay, so I've got it plugged in there like that. It's plugged in there. Uh, use, can you open that for me? Use two ants. That's it. We open this up. Oh, that's a bit dirty, that screen doesn't matter. The way for the computer to start. This is a really old computer, but it'll eventually get there. Okay, there we go. All right. And basically you can just see it all connecting there. There we go, three units. Bang, bang, bang. And I'll only plug into one unit, as you can see. And uh, we pick up all three um, inverters. So basically to configure these, you go to configuration, uh, device, Parameter settings. You can see we've got everything set already there. Okay. And that's it. I mean, these things connect real easy. I've never had a problem with them. Some people do have a problem with them. I suggest if you do have a problem with them, um, just configure your port for it. Okay, so there we are. It's all programmed. Now this is for the uh, EP Ever at the top up here. That's a 200 volt input, 100 amp output, and that's controlling the two strings of panels on the roof. And that's what, so the house is using, oh, let's quickly go through here. So the house is using about 800 watts load, and and here's the here's the owners. Now just so basically, I mean the the system's in now and it's programmed as best we can, and we still might need a little bit of tweaking. But tell me, I mean you've been off grid how long now? It would have been two months now, approximately. Since uh, the so the first phase of it was we were running off the 24 panels just on the roof here. Um, and that was fine, honestly that was enough. And then it was sort of designed into the system to have the extra panels, which is the, the, fr Fudge. No more. the frame that we built that sits out in the paddock. So it's just got extra panels now, which... So sure just say so your name and where you're from, you know, the, the cattery, you know, so... Yep, it's uh, with Steve and Lisa Price, and we're on a property here in Bustleton. Um, on the property we also run a cattery called Ambergate Cattle Still. Yeah, that's, that's it. There's a lot of cats out there, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so experiences, um, like I mean, your your power came a long way from the from the road. It did, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just tell me your experiences with the power, and and since you've been off grid running the inverters, yeah, if you don't mind. Before we went off grid, we had a lot of issues with our power because the, the cord or the, the power cable supplying the house weren't big enough. big enough. So we could never turn two heating appliances on together. For example, we couldn't use the kettle and the oven at the same time or the toaster and you know the oven or anything like that. When we went off grid, because of the amount of power we were able to generate and that new cables were put in, we can now actually switch well, the power virtually goes from here, underground, straight straight to the house meter box, which is there. So you haven't got, well, how, how would that be, 500 metres? How many poles? I think it's over 500 metres. I think it's closer to 600 metres. And it was, yeah, there's seven poles in there. And, and there's uh, a long stretch of underground as well. So yeah, an underground, uh, an uh, yeah. undersized transformer and undersized wires. And you just... Couldn't just suck enough power through them. No, no. And it took ages for our heating appliances to actually heat up to come to temperature. Yeah. Whereas now, you know, half the time. No time at all. Yeah. And you got enough power? More than enough. 
heaps, Doodles. heaps of power, mate. You can run the air conditioners and... The air conditioner, we can run the air conditioner on the heating cycle if we want to, which takes even a bit more power. Before um, we comfortably. Were, yeah, before we were actually hesitant to run appliances because of our power situation. Now, I can do as much washing as I want. I can do as much, I can actually do more now because I'm not frightened of... And you don't have a, 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 a seen energy bill anymore. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 And, and, and you don't have to rely on wasted power. Um, it's, it's fantastic, Chris. It really is, mate. It's, it, there's no point being stingy anymore. There's no point being miserly or careful. It's, and, and how did you find... Careful power. How did you find dealing with Silvio and, and then dealing with the electrician, Wayne? Gen generally very good, mate. Yeah, very happy with the... The, um, uh, we had a few delays, but that we were we were told about that right up front. Uh, there was sort of no hidden, nothing was hidden from us. Um, but yeah, generally very good. I, I can't complain. And at the end of the day, we've, um, they were allowed. I was a big part of the install myself, I, uh, which I wanted to be. And so you were right there with Wayne helping him. Yep. Yep. Uh, I was. It just it was better for me to, to go through that process. learning curve and I, I learned the system you know very thoroughly because of that so th they were happy to accommodate us in every way and both of them were very good very good no, that's, Extremely that's, good. that's awesome like I mean when I started to talk to you about going off grid what two years ago or more a couple of years ago yeah and I um, came to your house and had a look at your system and started to build some framework you know, in my mind about what, what was involved and yeah a couple of years later here we are we've, we've done it yeah you're independent yeah totally and it feels good it, it really feels good, good. And, and you don't have any more western power bills or sin energy as i like to call them <laughs> um sin energy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you know i mean it's just awesome and yeah i mean he has done a beautiful install that is a beautiful install. install very that, neat, that's tidy. absolutely tidy. awesome and your dog's welcome at my place if you want to go on holidays, okay? Fudge. Because I, I, I love yes, Fudge. In the video. He, he, he's already in the video. Me, he's already come and give me a cuddle and a kiss, so... You have a big sloppy kiss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thanks, thanks for being honest and, and upfront, but, um, I mean, of course, I live just down the road, so, you know, if there's any, any problems at all, you know, it's like, like I said years before. I'm happy to come down and, and, and help you. No, and thanks for your help too, mate. You've been uh, great. Any time we've had, we had a little issue with an overvolt, um, you sort of dropped everything and ran, and I appreciate that. Oh, that's no problem at all. Yeah. That's no, that was programming these. Uh, if anyone knows how to program these EP Evers, please, uh, these big ones, uh, please do a video on it and send me the link. Thanks. All right, thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks, Chris. That's an awesome, awesome, awesome system. Yeah.